Engineering play is a perspective for understanding and observing young children's constructive play as a design process. Much like the way engineers think and work when they design structure and develop solutions to human problems. When children build with blocks, there is a natural process in which they engage to share ideas, plan their structure, build it, and evaluate if it accomplishes its intended purpose. In many ways, when children block build, they are creating a mental and verbal blueprint for a design idea and seeing that design idea through to its completion. Research has shown that children are motivated and excited not only about block building, but about the engineering design process and the sequences and cycles of intentional thinking that are necessary to complete a structure. And there is early evidence that this engineering play lens may be important for children's development, their physical abilities and social skills, as well as creativity, learning, and potentially some of the early predictors of academic success like math, spatial skills, and self-regulation. The purpose of this training video is to put the engineering play perspective into action and to demonstrate to educators how to recognize engineering behaviors as they occur during children's play and to encourage and foster those engineering play behaviors. Many children build with blocks in free play contexts with little or no adult interaction, but with just a bit of adult support, guidance, or interaction, we can use the engineering perspective to frame children's play, focus their thinking on their actions, and help increase their awareness and understanding of STEM during the early years. There are nine engineering play behaviors that young children do when they build with blocks. Communicating goals, design and construction, explaining how things are built or work, problem solving and replication, solution testing and evaluating design, creative and innovative ideas, following patterns and prototypes, logical or mathematical thinking, and technical vocabulary. You will be shown examples of each of the engineering play behaviors as they occur during preschoolers play with blocks and loose parts materials. Together, we will work through these examples, observe and interpret children's play, and make sense of the kinds of adult support that facilitate children's engineering play and thinking. Although the nine behaviors are presented here in a particular order, they do not necessarily occur in any particular order during children's play. Any of the nine behaviors can occur at any time during play, and oftentimes children exhibit two or more engineering play behaviors within the same play actions. For example, if a child accidentally knocks her structure over, she may rebuild that structure, talk about how she is rebuilding it, and modify her design so the structure will not fall again. In one play action, she has engaged in design and construction, explaining how things are built or work, and problem solving and replication. 